What's up, everybody? I'm Damon Hatfield here with Marty Sleeve. Hey, guys. And Marty was just telling me he thinks next month, March 2018, will be the best month ever for PlayStation Plus because we're getting Mighty Number no. 9. No, that is not, that's absolutely oh, not the reason. I've misunderstood. <laughs> uh, no, we're getting, I mean, yes, we are getting Mighty Number no. 9, uh, but we are getting both uh, Bloodborne as well as Ratchet and Clank on PS4. Ratchet and Clank, yeah. Which, uh, in my opinion, those are probably two of the top 10, if not top five, uh, PS4 exclusives. Mm -hmm. uh, Bloodborne coming out uh, three years ago in 2015, Ratchet and Clank two years ago in 2016. Both games hold up incredibly. Yeah. Uh, and honestly, looking back at the history of PS Plus, which started giving out free games in June 2010. I couldn't believe that. It's been going on for almost eight, eight years. It's years. Uh, crazy. I think this is the best lineup. So those first couple years like, were filled with a bunch of like Sega Genesis games. There was like Sonic the Hedgehog and Golden Axe, and then a bunch of PS1 games like they give out Crash Team Racing and Spyro and everything. Uh, but then I was looking back at the last couple of years, like what have been some heavy, hit, heavy hitter months? Yeah. Uh, we had uh, October, just a couple months ago, we had Phantom Pain. Yeah. It's incredible, 10 out of 10, IGN, uh, as well as Amnesia, uh, which is an amazing horror game. Uh, a couple months before that in May, smaller games, but still good. We had Tales from the Borderlands, maybe Telltale's whole, best game. The whole run? Or? The whole five, wow, yeah, five episodes. Good. That's a great deal. Yeah, and Abzu, which is you know one of those amazing indie games. But again, those games are great. They are not like those top not AAA tier. Yeah, exactly. retail releases. Um, and then uh, the other one that a lot of people, when I posted that on Twitter, said was back in July 2015, Rocket League made its debut. On PS4. On PS4, on PlayStation Plus. Yeah. Which was huge, that. and that was part of the, I think, honestly, part of the enduring success of that game is that it launched in anyone who had PS Plus, which is most people with a PS4 who just download and play it. Yeah. 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 I'm, not, I, I'm sure you, you see PlayStation Plus from month to month has, has its ups and downs. Yep, yep. And some people, not us, not no. you and I, some people who shall remain nameless, uh, complain when it's just indie games. Yeah, uh, yeah, totally. But this month, next month, just two big AAA games. Honestly, Bloodborne and Ratchet. There's and there's no way to that you can possibly complain about this. Like either you own them and then it's awesome that other people get to play them, or you've been sitting on them and then yeah. all of a sudden you can play these. Now it's your turn. Yeah. What about over on Xbox with games of gold? What do you uh, think is the best month? So I was looking so my one's a little personal. It was April 2016 and it was uh, the full run of a Wolf Among Us. Uh, Telltale series, as well as Sunset Overdrive, which is probably my favorite uh, Xbox mm. One exclusive still. Yeah. Um, really and then, uh, this is sort of a weird one, back to PS Plus, back in November 2012, which was like six months after the Vita launched, they had this crazy Vita month where for PlayStation Plus you could get Uncharted Golden Abyss, Gravity Rush, Wipeout, uh, Mutant Blobs Attack, Jet Set Radio Future, or Jet Set Radio, and Final Fantasy Tactics, all for free. Tactics! Tactics! Oh, man. It's always one of those things where it's like, you just get a Vita and all of a sudden all of these games are free. You're like, this is great. Well, it's funny you mentioned Vita. Mm -hmm. uh, Sony also announced today, along with uh, this news of next month's PS Plus offerings, is that in March <clears throat> 2019, one year. They will no longer be offering PS3 or Vita, Vita games to PS Plus. I think it's I think it's smart. I think it's cool that they're giving us like sort of the runway to sunset it. I yeah, that's nice. Yeah, it's and a full not, year. Yeah, full it's like, year. It's like it's quite a heads up. Yeah, and by then like we'll already be hearing rumblings of PS5. So like yeah, it's time to sort of let cool. the PS3 go. Um, and honestly, what I hope they do is uh, I hope they replace that with maybe a free PSVR game every month. And yeah, so that is a cool sure. thing to where even if you don't have one yet, you can start building up your library, downloading these games, and then when you do buy one, you have a dozen cool games. Man, talking about all these great free games on PS4 and Xbox mm -hmm. makes me think, Nintendo, it's time, Nintendo. With, with the Nintendo, I just want, I just, I just want to just give want you play. money for <laughs> online services. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Uh, what are your favorite PS Plus and Xbox Live games with gold games? Let us know in the comments, and for more on all of these things video games, stay tuned, IGN.